Now let me welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West. Welcome to the West and to this presentation on my NOTA summer internship with California State University at San Bernardino. My internship is housed within the Office of Student Leadership and Development, specifically within the Student Orientation, Advising, and Registration, or SOAR program. In this video, I will describe CSUSB overall, the basics of student leadership and development, my role as a NOTA intern, and I'll compare the SOAR program to the CAS standards for orientation programs. California State University at San Bernardino, or CSUSB, is a medium-sized public institution in Southern California with a current enrollment of about 18,000 students. CSUSB is a Hispanic-serving institution with no majority ethnic group on campus and has been rated a top military-friendly public university, ranked 17th among the top regional public universities in the West by U.S. News & World Report, recognized as one of the top 20 universities in the nation, exceeding its expected graduation rates, and was named one of the best in the West colleges and universities by the Princeton Review. More than 70% of CSUSB graduates are the first in their families to graduate from college, and the university increasingly serves larger percentages of students from underrepresented backgrounds. CSUSB also has a branch campus in Palm Desert. At CSUSB, the Summer Orientation Program, known as Student Orientation, Advising, and Registration, or SOAR, is housed within the Office of Student Leadership and Development. The SOAR program has been cited specifically in regards to the increase in retention and graduation of CSUSB students in the past five years. This office is within the Student Affairs Division at CSUSB and has seven full-time staff members. In addition to SOAR, the Student Leadership and Development Office encompasses all student clubs and organizations, student leadership training programs, and Greek life. This office's mission is to provide a welcoming and safe intellectual and social environment that intentionally engages campus members in the life of the university by offering co-curricular opportunities that facilitate leadership development. According to the vision statement, this office will support, recognize, and promote the educational benefits of learning through leadership. In order to fulfill their vision and mission, Orientation is a mandatory program for all new students at CSUSB. Transfer orientation sessions last one full day and are held in June and July. There are six total sessions offered for transfer students this summer, but this changes each year depending on demand. First year orientation sessions last two full days and require the students to stay in the campus residence halls for the night in between these two days. There are six total two-day sessions five of which are overnight events, and they are all held during the month of July. During these SOAR events, students participate in team building activities, discover resources available to them as a CSUSB student, get the inside scoop on campus, mingle with student clubs, and speak to academic advisors to create their fall class schedule. Students also build Coyote Pride that they will use throughout their time as a student. This includes power, responsibility, integrity, determination, and enthusiasm. Around 400 students attend each first year SOAR session. In order to pull off such large scale events with so many students, SOAR partners with many departments across campus. To house students overnight, SOAR works with the Office of Housing and Residential Life. Also, members of facility services are important, helping with setup and takedown of all events. Since SOAR includes academic advising, we work closely with each academic department as well as undeclared advisors to ensure that students can choose a class schedule during this time. To provide social and recreational programming, SOAR works with the Office of Recreational Sports to host event programs. Last but certainly not least, there's a strong partnership with Sodexo to provide catering for all events. As a graduate intern with the SOAR program, I assist the coordinator of student transition and parent programs, along with the administrative support assistant, to plan and implement all details of SOAR events. In this, I help to supervise 48 SOAR leaders who are undergraduate students trained to ensure a successful transition to CSUSB for new students. 
I work alongside these SOAR leaders in assembling informational packets, sending mailings, leading student groups, which we call Coyote Packs, and ensuring a safe overnight stay for new students. I also updated and revised the SOAR Leader Manual, which is used during the SOAR Leader Retreat held in July. I serve as the head resident assistant on duty during overnight sessions in case of any campus emergencies. In addition, I will complete the orientation self-assessment program evaluation in accordance with the CAS standards to help evaluate the SOAR program overall. This assessment will be essential in improving future programs. SOAR leaders are current campus leaders at CSUSB. To be a SOAR leader, these students must maintain a 2.7 GPA, serve as a positive role model, and attend SOAR training and overnight events. This position is highly desired across campus as SOAR leaders are compensated with leadership opportunities and priority class registration. It is a competitive process to become a SOAR leader and applications open up in January prior to the summer programs. In comparison to the Council for the Advancement of Standards in Higher Education, or the CAS standards, the SOAR program at CSUSB adheres to many of the standards of the Orientation Program Functional Area. SOAR fulfills the mission of the CAS standards of orientation programs by facilitating the transition of new students to CSUSB through the mandatory SOAR programs held during the summer. To prepare students for educational opportunities, the SOAR program works with an Early Start program which provides remedial coursework for math and English for those students who do not meet minimum test score requirements. Class registration is also done during SOAR, so students meet with advisors to help them choose their courses. To integrate students to the culture of CSUSB, students are immediately introduced to the mascot, Cody the Coyote, taught the alma mater, and welcomed by a roaring and cheering crowd of CSUSB student and staff members. Although parents are not allowed to attend SOAR sessions, they are provided with a parent informational guide and invited to participate in family orientation as well as join the Coyote Parents Association, which hosts events throughout the year to keep parents informed and engaged. SOAR also matches up well with the CAS standards in its intentional design, supervisory model, welcoming environment to many identities, financial stability, and use of technology. Through group activities and icebreakers, students are provided with intentional opportunities to become acquainted with campus and to interact with other students. There are also a few ways in which SOAR does not match up with the CAS standards, which I hope to explore further in the self-assessment program evaluation that I will complete late in this internship. First of all, SOAR does not have its own mission statement outside of the Student Leadership and Development mission statement, which could be helpful in adhering to these standards. SOAR does have stated goals, but more articulate learning objectives could be developed to add clarity to the purpose of the program. In addition, although SOAR is highly inclusive and open to diversity, I found little other information regarding ethical standards that the program adheres to. Also, laws and policies could be communicated to employees and SOAR leaders in a more clear and direct way. Current staff members within SOAR are highly qualified, but during SOAR programs, more staff members are needed to assist with the many required duties. In the future, SOAR hopes to collaborate with more external community organizations, as mentioned by the CAS standards as a way to reach out to other stakeholders. Lastly, there is no current SOAR or orientation program for distance students, graduate students, or out-of-state students, which offers possibilities for improvements. My supervisor often says that orientation is a hot mess, which is more than true. But this hot mess is a proven way to engage students with their new campus environment, aiding in student satisfaction and increased retention rates. For more information about SOAR or California State University at San Bernardino, go to soar.csusb.edu or call 909-537-5234. I've also learned that dancing can be a great way to develop student leadership and team bonding. With that, I will leave you with this video of the Cal State slide. <laughs> And 
Another popular dance was the wobble. Go Coyotes! Oh, and Beavers too.